signing Bayern Munich winger Kingsley Coman during the summer transfer window in order to strengthen their attack. According to journalist Pete O'Rourke of Football Insider's Inside Track podcast, Arsenal are interested in signing Bayern Munich winger Kingsley Coman. It has been mentioned that the Gunners are hoping to sign the French wide player on a season-long loan deal this summer. Coleman missed a lot of games for Bayern last season due to injuries, but did well to put in a run of eye-catching displays for them in the final third. The French wing wizard registered five goals and picked up three assists in 27 matches for the German outfit in the previous campaign across all fronts. Arsenal seems to be the only Premier League club interested in landing Coleman, however, both Barcelona and PSG are keen on him, according to Caught Offside. The competition may cause Coleman to pick his preferred destination, or Bayern to where they want him to play. All three clubs threaten the German giants in the Champions League. So it may be the case that the Munich-based club doesn't have a preference between the three sides. The 28-year-old was a consistent performer for the Bavarian club as he averaged two shots, 1.7 key passes, and 1.7 dribbles per game in Bundesliga. He was even accurate when distributing the ball in the opponent's half based on his pass completion rate of 87.9 in top-flight football according to stats via who score. His current contract at the Allianz Arena will expire in the summer of 2027. Thus, the Gunners would have to make a convincing offer if they are serious about recruiting Komen this month. Komen can use his quickness to get in behind the opposition backline and is a good dribbler with the ball at his feet. He can strike the ball with venom from long range and has got the eye to play a few decisive passes on the offensive end of the field. The Paris-born talent is primarily a left-sided wide player, but can also function as a right winger if told to do so. However, it remains to be seen whether he can make a smooth transition to life in the Premier League if Arsenal managed to lure him to the English capital this summer. We can expect Coleman to bring more pace and goals to Mikel Arteta's front line. He might even help the Gunners compete for some major honors in the future. The French sensation is playing in his prime and could be a real asset in Arteta's squad next season. Hence, Arsenal would be wise to try everything they can to bring Komen on board in this transfer period. Nkidia deal collapses Eddie Nkidia remains a key player who is unlikely to leave. The striker's proposed move to Olympique de Marseille is no longer viable. Arsenal softened their stance on the 25-year-old last week even presenting a loan offer with the option to buy after rejecting previous bids from Marseille. The League One side, however, showed themselves unwilling to match Arsenal's 30 million demand and instead launched another offensive for Lens star Ely Wahi after two unsuccessful bids last week. According to Fabrizio Romano, they have now been successful in their pursuit of Wahi and have informed Arsenal that a deal for Nkidia is 100% off. Bournemouth have their eyes on Arsenal striker Eddie Nkidia as a potential replacement for Tottenham Hotspur new boy Dominic Solank. Solank was the top scorer at Bournemouth last season, scoring 19 times in the Premier League for the Cherries. They have sold the forward to Spurs for a club record fee of 65M and are now actively looking to secure a replacement. And Doni Irola is looking at several options as they seek to replace their top goalscorer for last season. And it has been claimed that Nkidia is one of the names on their shortlist at this stage of the summer transfer window. Marseille have been interested in the gunner, but Arsenal rejected a couple of offers from them, and the French giants are now looking to sign Ely Wahi from Lens. Arsenal are prepared to sell him for the right price, and Bournemouth have money to spend following Solank's departure. It remains to be seen whether their interest translates into a concrete offer for the Arsenal striker in the coming days. Arsenal target Mikel Marino is set to make a decision soon. A story from El Diario Vasco now reveals that Mikel Marino is set to decide on his future within the next few hours. The Spanish news outlet believe the Real Sociedad No. 8 has not yet been the subject of a bid from Arsenal, although the Gunners are effectively just waiting for the UEFA Euro 2024 winner to give them encouragement by deciding on a move to the Emirates Stadium. It comes after the Times claimed that Arsenal want Marino signed as soon as possible, with Football London adding that a deal could even be done for just 20M as the 28-year-old has just 11 months remaining on his contract. The situation has only become more complicated for Arsenal in recent days however as Liverpool attempt to sign Martin Zubamendi from Real Sociedad. Tomiyasu could leave football transfers understands that Arsenal are open to late offers for versatile defender Takahiro Tomiyasu, who is currently nursing yet another injury.
The Japan International has struggled to consistently feature for Arsenal due to persistent fitness issues, and the Gunners would consider a sale if a suitable bid were to arrive before the end of the window. The arrival of Calafiri has given Arsenal a wealth of defensive options, and they are willing to cut one of their stars loose. Kiwier in Juventus links alternatively, Jakob Kiwier could depart the Emirates this summer. Strongly linked with an exit for weeks, the pole is now being associated with Juventus. Italian media reports that the Bayern Canary are eyeing up Kiwier after missing out on Jean-Claire Tadibo to West Ham. In fact, it is claimed that he has become a key target for the old lady. Kiwier is the player who has been most prominently linked with a departure following the signing of Calafiri, who plays in the same positions on the left side of the defense. Ironically, Calafiri was Juventus' initial top defensive target. Martin Zubamendi has rejected the chance to join Liverpool. According to Spanish media, the Reds look to have missed out on their top midfield target. Despite Real Sociedad initially expecting Zubamendi to accept Liverpool's approaches, the 25-year-old has now decided to snub the Anfield club, according to Relivo. Real Sociedad have been desperately trying to convince their star midfielder to remain with his boyhood club, and it seems that they have been successful as the Spanish outlet reports. The player has done a complete U-turn. At Liverpool, everything was ready for his arrival because the footballer had given the go-ahead. The agreement was complete. The Reds were rubbing their hands with the signing of a player who was going to become a symbol of the institution, but ultimately, Martin Zubamendi has decided to continue at Real Sociedad ignoring the siren songs from the Liverpool club. Zubamendi has always been reluctant to leave his hometown side, even ghosting Arsenal despite having an agreement with them ahead of the summer, as revealed by football transfers. It will be a double boost for Arsenal. The news of Zubamendi rejecting Liverpool will be music to the ears of Arsenal. The Basque star had been considered Mikel Arteta's dream midfield target prior to his ignoring the Gunners, and the coach will be delighted that he won't be moving to a different Premier League outfit. Moreover, this means that Real Sociedad will be much more open to letting Mikel Marino go, with whom Arsenal have been in talks for weeks. Personal terms have already been agreed, as exclusively revealed by football transfers, but a club-to-club -club deal has still not been struck. Ariala know that Marino is keen on the move, but they wanted to avoid a situation in which two of their midfield dynamos departed in the same summer. With Zubamendi now set to stay, the road to North London is clear for Marino.